All right, so in this video, we are going to continue talking about surface area, but this time we're going to use a different three-dimensional figure, and we're going to talk about surface area with rectangular prisms. So your goal for today is I can determine the surface area of rectangular prisms. Now remember, rectangular prisms are different from cubes because cubes are made up completely of squares, but rectangular prisms have rectangles um, and sometimes squares with them as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the same definition of, sur of surface area as before, but I want you to write it down again. The sum of the area of all the faces of a shape. Now, I'm going to give you a formula to use for rectangular prisms. However, I want to stress this again. If you forget the formula for surface area for any of the shapes, surface area is simply adding this area with 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 this area. So if you find the area of each of the faces and you add them together, no matter what formula you use, it's going to work. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So when we look at a rectangular prism, it's going to look something like this. Um, the surface area formula it's going to be a little bit longer, but it's going to come naturally after a while. It is 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH, okay? So that's the official formula to use. But if you ever forget, find the area of each side, add them all up together, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So for our first example, we're going to write down the formula. Surface area equals... 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. And I'm going to show you the way that I want you to show your work. It's very simple. Three lines with plus signs in between. Okay? So first I want you to take in your calculator and you're going to do this in one straight line. You're going to do two times, oops, two times, and then we need L, so two times four times, and then we need W, 3. So if you put in your calculator 2 times 4 times 3, you're going to get 24. Then for your second one, we're going to do 2 times, there's the L again, right here, 4 times, and now we need the H, which is going to be right here, 2. So 2 times 4 times 2, which is going to give you 16. And then the last line here, 2 times W, so 2 times 3 times, oops, and then we need H, which is going to be 2. And so that's going to be 12. And now you simply add those all up together, 24 plus 16 plus 12, and you're going to get 52. And our units are meters, and remember surface area is always squared because we're just adding the areas together, okay? So again, a little bit of a tricky formula, but once you practice a bunch, you'll get it down without a problem. All right, let's try the next one. So we're going to go ahead and start by writing the formula. Surface area equals 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. Okay? So for the first guy here, for the first line, we're going to do 2 times our L is 7 and our W is 4.8. So 2 times 7 times 4.8, and that's going to give us 67.2. For the next one, we're going to do 2 times 7, because that's our L. And then this time we need our H, which is 6. So 2 times 7 times 6, and that's going to give us 84. And then for our last one, we need 2WH. So 2 times 4.8 times 6. And that's going to give us 57.6. And now we simply add those all together. And you should get 208.8 centimeters squared. Okay? And remember, centimeters squared because we're adding all the areas together. All right, let's do example number three. Now, with example number three, you're going to notice I gave you the 3D solid, but I also gave you the net. And the reason why I gave you the net is because sometimes I'm not even going to give this to you. I'm just going to give you the net. 
And so the easy way to do this is to just simply put an L, W, and H next to the dimensions, okay? <coughs> or you can draw a 3D solid next to it and simply label the dimensions here. So I'm going to go width, length, height. Now, sometimes students will ask me, well, Miss Oates, how come I, you know, sometimes the shape is turned a certain way, and I don't know if it's really the length or the width, and then sometimes it's flipped around, and I don't know the height. Well, there's a really good answer to that, and that is that it really doesn't matter, because as long as you're labeling one of them as width, one of them as length, and one of them as height, you're going to get the same answer every single time, because essentially you're just finding the areas of the different pieces of it, okay? So label, so, you know, try your best to label them so that you do know the difference, but it, it really doesn't matter in the end, to be honest with you. All right, so our formula is surface area equals 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. So our first line is going to be 2 times 7 times 5, and that's going to give us 70. Our second line here is going to be 2 times 7 times 4, and that's going to give us 56. And then our last line is going to be 2 times 5 times 4, and that's going to give us 40. And when we add them all together, 70 plus 56 plus 40, we're going to get 166 feet, and then that's going to be to the second power, okay? And remember, guys, surface area is not how much something holds. It's the outside of it. So it's how, how big is the outside of the shape? How big are the faces all put together? Okay, so here we have a U-try, and I'm actually going to do this one with you because it's the first one where I give you just a net, and then I'll let you fly solo on the other two. So first, let's write out our formula, and I'm going to write it out on top so I can write it nice and big. So surface area equals 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. And I have some students um, where when they draw these lines, it helps them to write... Um, each part of the formula underneath, and if that helps you, do that too, okay? So let's look at our shape here. All right, so um, we have 35, this is saying this is 14, and this is 14 as well, because here's the line showing you that, and here's the line showing you that, okay? So this is going to be our length, this is going to be our width, and it's also going to be our height, so I'm just going to label it H down there. All right. So let's move up just a little bit. All right. So we have 2 times L times W. So it's going to be 2 times 35 times 14, which is going to give us 980. The next one is 2 times L times H. So 2 times 35 times 14. And that's going to give us 980 again. And then the next one is going to be 2WH, so 2 times 14 times 14. And that's going to be 392. And when we add all those up, 38, or sorry, 980 plus 980 plus 392, we're going to get 2,352. And this is going to be yards squared. All right. You try the next one all on your own. Remember to label the shape with L, W, and H.
All right, if you're not done, go ahead and pause the video. If you are done, let's talk about it. So here we have our net, and I just went ahead and labeled this as the length, and then 10 was both the width and the height. So I just labeled one as width, one as height, just so they were in a different place. 2 times L times W, which is going to be 2 times 15 times 10, is going to give you 300. 2 times L times H is 2 times 15 times 10 again. It's also 300. And this is a little bit unclear, so let me fix that. Um, 2 times, oops, it's unclear again. Let's try that one more time as I erased part of the answer. 2 times W times H, which is going to be 2 times 10 times 10, and that's going to be 200. 200 plus 300 plus 300 is going to be 800 inches squared. All right, you go ahead and try this next one here. Make sure that you label the net with an L, a W, and an H. All right, so, oh, sorry, we're not doing this together. I forgot, you keep trying. All right, so go ahead and pause if you're not done. So this time I had three different dimensions on my net, which was very important. Um, so 2 times L times W would be 2 times 3 times 2, which is 12. 2 times L times H would be 2 times 3 times 2.4. And then 2 times W times H is going to be 2 times 2 times 2.4, which was 9.6. And when you add them all up, you should get an even 36 meters squared. All right, that is the end of this video. Make sure you rewind and rewatch it if you need to or ask me questions in class.